the unique, one unique thing about carbon is it can have functional groups. That is, groups attached to the carbon that have unique abilities or powers uh, to do particular reactions and have particular physical properties. So what you uh, are going to have to do in OCHEM is learn what's called functional groups or families. Okay? Uh, so I'm going to teach you 16, no, uh, 12. I'm going to teach you 12, oh, no, 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 even more. Uh, 14, 14, there we go. I'll teach you 14. Uh, in this unit, they're all just, you just see them and you learn them and be able to identify them. In OCHEM, each one of these 14 are a different chapter, essentially. So one of these will be a whole chapter. You'll learn how to name it, uh, the reactions, etc. So I posted this on my website. Hopefully you can kind of read this here. Uh, you're, we're going to see three flow charts that look like this. So you might want to make some notes about it, but definitely print this out uh, so that you can get a handle on it. Uh, and you'll get the pattern as, as you see how this goes. So hydrocarbons. This is uh, our first flow chart we're going to look at. When you have a hydrocarbon, which is organic, something with carbons and hydrogens, it's called a hydrocarbon. A saturated hydrocarbon is called an alkane, and this is the one you need to know, an alkane. We're going to, in our class, spend the most of the time on the alkane because it's the simplest. An alkane is a carbon structure that only has single bonds. So it's carbon single bonded to other carbons uh, and hydrogens. Uh, oil is like this. Lots of uh, oils will usually be single bonded carbons. doesn't have to be, but can be. Uh, then you have what's called unsaturated uh, hydrocarbons. Again, still with carbon and hydrogen, one category is the alkene. So notice the difference. This is the alkene with an A. Here the suffix is E-N-E, alkene. And an alkene here is this carbon-carbon double bond. So whenever you have double bonds in your hydrocarbon, it's called an alkene. Uh, the next one, unsaturated as well, is called an alkyne, Y-N-E suffix, suffix, and that has triple bonds, or at least one. So if there's at least one triple bond, then it's called an alkyne. Okay? So there's alkane, alkene, and alkyne. Uh, you see these all over. For example, if this had a chlorine on it, this would be PVC, polyvinyl chloride that repeats over and over. So you see these double bonds all over the place. Triple bonds are like if you're a welder and you've done acetylene welding, that's this. Um, arenes. Arenes. Uh, it's also unsaturated, but they're a little special in that they have double bonds and it's in a ring form. So if you have in a ring, and you have alternating double and single bonds, a conjugated system. That's called an arene. Uh, arene, or aromatic, as you see up in the higher yellow box. Uh, these have smells, so they are, they're very pungent. Uh, for example, like mothballs are arenes. And so if you ever smell the mothball, it's pretty strong. So what you're expected here is any structure I give you to identify the functional group. So if you see a triple bond, you think alkyne. If you see a double bond, you're thinking alkene, etc. So you see this kind of a double bond with a ring, and they're alternating, that's an arene. If, if they weren't alternating double and single bonds, for example, if there's only one double bond here, this would be an alkene. But when they're alternating, it becomes an arene. 